A federal grand jury in Detroit today charged the 13 top leaders of the Weathermen with plotting to bomb public buildings in Chicago, Detroit, New York, and Berkeley, California. The Weathermen are the militant faction of the Students for a Democratic Society. Only one of the 13 is now in custody. At 7.30 this morning, KPFK received a call from a woman identifying herself as a member of the Weather Underground. Hello. I'm going to read a declaration of a state of war. This is the first communication from the Weatherman Underground. Kids know the lines are drawn. Revolution is touching all of our lives. Freaks are revolutionaries, and revolutionaries are freaks. If you want to find us, this is where we are. In every tribe, commune, dormitory, farmhouse, barracks, and townhouse, where kids are making love, smoking dope, and loading guns, fugitives from American justice are free to go. Within the next 14 days, we will attack a symbol or institution of American injustice. The power belongs to the young people and the black people in this country. Come on, we got to fight it out. We got to build a strong base and someday we got to knock those motherfuckers who control this thing right on their ass. The FBI said the Weather Underground Organization, which took credit for the bombing, is the same radical group which was responsible for the bombing of the U.S. Capitol in 1971 and the Pentagon in 1972. But federal officials don't really know much about the group, which is believed to have between 20 and 30 members. My name is Bernadine Dorn, and I was part of the Weather Underground from, well, it's hard to say when it started, 1970 to 1980. It's underground for 11 years. There's no way to be committed to nonviolence in the middle of the most violent society that history's ever created. I'm not committed to nonviolence in any way. I'm a teacher now in a community college, and um, I'll, my students will occasionally bring up the war in Vietnam and ask me what, what my involvement was. And I'll say, well, I helped found an organization whose goal was the violent overthrow of the government of the United States. And people would my students will look at me as if I'm from another planet. This system is gonna be overthrown. It's gonna mean a fight. And it's gonna mean a lot of white people risking a lot of things when they finally join on the side of the black people and the people of Vietnam and around the world who have already begun the fight. I'm not gonna tell you, oh, I walked in here this day and put a bomb here, or I made this here, or I blew up this car, or I held up this bank. I mean, there were armed robberies. There were all there, armed robberies, uh, uh, terrorism. You know, there was all, all kinds of things that went down that were illegal. So I, uh, I tell you that we did them, but I'm not gonna tell you which ones I did or who did what, because I you just can't do that. <laughs> 